Okay, so in this video, we'll be discussing about the Laplace transforms of functions in which we are going to use the table for a Laplace transform. So now we'll just first discuss the table for Laplace transform. Of course, we have already um, know that the Laplace transform of a constant is, um, for this one, a constant is 1. So the Laplace transform is 1 over s. So for example, if we have here the Okay, so let's just try first my so if we have here this one the Laplace transform of okay. so the Laplace transform of for example find the Laplace transform of Of k, so k is a constant. So that will be a quantity table that will be k over s. Okay. Then we have derived this one, the Laplace transform of um, a uh, e raised to the uh, a raised to the a t, where your a is a constant also. So we have derived this one. So on the on our derivation, that is uh, the the constant there is k. Then this one. So the Laplace transform for t to the n, where n is an exponent, so 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. So this is equal to the n factorial over s n plus 1. Then we have the sine bt. So in our example, it is sine kt. So that is b over s squared plus b squared. So b here, so don't be confused with b or k because they are just constants. Then cosine bt so is s over s squared plus b squared. Then um, uh, the Laplace transforms of a raised to a t, t n, so where n is just also an uh, exponent. So this is the uh, Laplace transform. Then a to the a, a t sine b t, this is the last transform. And a raised to a t cosine b t, this is the last Laplace transform. So these three can be derived um, using the the uh, the methods or using the property of a transform of a derivative so we could uh, maybe we'll just be uh, we we'll just go on in this one and we'll have another lesson in which we are going to derive this one here but this this is basically the uh, table for the Laplace transform so it is much shorter Okay, so this will be the table. So of course, again, there will be a much a larger table for this one. So much longer table. So that is the complete table of last transform. But we will just focus on this table for because that longer table will be beyond the scope of our discussion for this le lesson. Okay. So for in the few in the next few videos, we will have some examples on how to apply this. Uh, table in solving Laplace transform of functions. Okay, so thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something and as always enjoy learning